Then we want to create a new font. We're going to call this Fillet Silver. And what you want to do is choose a file again. Hey! Go into our. Choose this box here. Um, and we're going to use the specular map. Yes, please! As our texture, as our color. And basically, what you want to do, go through, do the same sort of thing. Um, first of all, I'll just rotate it for you quickly. Um, but what you want to do is you want to add a bump map to it. Um, remember, select the object, hold down your right mouse button, and assign material to selection. And now, as you can see, we're starting to get a cool thing here, a cool thing going on. What you might want, what I want, is it to be slightly more reflective. So if we turn up the reflectivity, reflected color, we can um, choose file and go up one level. Sorry, T. So I've been offered a cup of tea. Can't deny that. Um, and now we've got our reflected color. You can use that. And now let's render that out. Looking not too bad. How long do I have? Oh dear, I'm over. Which means I'm going to have to edit this. So you're now watching part three of the texturing. No need, no reason to stop. I'll just give this an edit. Um, gonna go into. Where is it? Go into our silver bullet. And I actually want to bring up the specular. Make it white. Bring up the cosine. Bring down the reflectivity a bit. And now it's starting to look pretty cool. We render that out. I'm liking this. Our bullet isn't looking too bad for the time being, anyway. Okay, well, now that we've got that, we can start to texture the, the shell. Um, however, that will be in part four now, I believe. So remember to check out part four. Um, I hope you've, you're enjoying this so far. Any tips, suggestions, let me know. Um, and I hope that this is helping you mayor people out because it's helping me out. Um, anyway, so, yep, I'll see you in part four. Enjoy, try this yourself, and I'll see you soon.